see you pooping. Well done. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, and more specifically, welcome to the living room. Ooh. So in many videos, I'm sure you've seen us brush Pablo, bath Pablo, look after Pablo, tidy up after Pablo, but there's one thing we've never covered, and it's something that people should know, or people should be aware of. Obviously, Pablo sheds a lot. Pablo goes in and out the garden. Now, how much mess does he actually make? As you know, some of you may not know, we brush Pablo once a week, bath him about every three weeks a month, unless you've rolled in muck and then we'll just bath you when and when. But in between his weekly D sheds, he obviously still does shed. Now, we haven't cleaned. Now, you always see us tidy, but you never see us clean. We haven't cleaned the living room now in about a week. So, there's basically a week's worth of dirt in the carpet. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hoover it. I'm gonna show you guys how much hair comes out of just the living room. I won't do upstairs, I'll just do the living room. Actually, I'll do the stairs as well because the stairs is the worst place. And if you've got a pug, then make sure you definitely, definitely, definitely do the stairs. Reason being, especially if it's carpet, if it's wood, it wouldn't be an issue. But if it's carpeted, that's where obviously they're jumping. That's when there's a lot of impact on the legs. That's when a lot of hair can and will fall out. And that's where obviously you walk up and down in your socks, in shoes, whatever and then that drags it all over the house. So, stairs are very important. In terms of actual like mess though, this is kind of what generally we come into. Normally his bed's not ripped apart, that's just today. But he normally like churns his toys out, spreads them across the floor, that's about it. He doesn't, he moves the pillows about and throws them off the couch and just so you get comfy, isn't it? Whoop. So for anybody who's actually interested, this is the hoover we've got. As you can see, it's got like a peck, pe 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 pet hair pickup. So obviously he's a pet and he puts hair on the floor. So we want it picked up. So this is ideal. As you can see, it is empty. There's nothing in there. Do you reckon we're gonna fill it? One run of the living room, do you reckon we'll fill it? This isn't a big floor area and that's not a small hoover. So let's see. I'm not sure how well the camera will pick it up. But you can maybe see the dog hairs that are just kind of sitting on it, maybe. Obviously being the colour it is though, like, obviously he's cream, it's grey, but you can't see them because they're so light, so it's a good colour to have if you're looking for a carpet and you want a colour that isn't going to show it, then a light grey is a kind of good option. Obviously, don't get black because his hairs really do just show on it, so... Don't do that. Let's go over number one. As you can see, we are up to the max of your hair. So from one week, that's all we get from Pablo. The full, full hoover. Now we always take our shoes off in the hall. So as you can see, we've got the, like the proper foot mat. So we don't walk in here with shoes. It's purely just from his feet, all the dirt and stuff that he brings in from the garden from walks his hair obviously. So we'll empty that, do a second run on this carpet and then we'll do the stairs. And as you can tell it is getting dark because it is taking generally that long, you can't just have like a quick once over. This is, this is a long job. Right. 
round two done and as you can see it's well yeah it's it's more just hair now there's no there's no like dirt in there that's just hair if I could, it's focusing on the table focus on your face yeah we go so after leaving this living room for one week we've got two full hoover loads of hair so that may now start to put it into perspective how much Pablo actually sheds because I bought this Hoover before we got Pablo. Now I would do the whole house like three, four, five times before I even had to empty that. So, you know. Should we do the stairs? So before it gets too dark, I'll show you like kind of state of the carpet. I don't know whether you can see or whether the camera's picking up, but you can see there is still a lot of hairs still just kind of intertwined into the carpet. It's nowhere near as bad as it was, but as you can see, you can't really get all the hairs out there's always gonna be hi feet hello there's always gonna be hairs just intertwined in when it comes to cleaning and tidying i'm quite ocd now i'm ocd with tidying and not cleaning knowing that there's hair on the carpet and this really isn't bothering me but if you are clean happy then a pug is not going to be for you because like i say this is this is one pug in one small room and I've been at it for a good 20-30 minutes just hoovering this one room I haven't hoovered the couches, I haven't done the kitchen I haven't done any of the upstairs it is a big task cleaning up after these little fellas where I wanted to get two possibly three maybe four so you can imagine it's literally every time this is just going to be doubled and doubled anyways let's crack on with the stairs and see how much we get off there and yeah So that's step one done but as you can see here in the corners all this hair that's like just tucked away that you can't get with the big hoover in this corner here you've got again more hair it's just a bit mangan get probably do not stop by eating it That's the stairs done, as you can see there's no hairs built up in the corners But nothing here at all You're not clean But, there you go, another full canister thing So yeah, that, pff, another one So I started recording this video basically as soon as I got back from work Which was half on, as you can see now It is, yeah now obviously there's me setting up cameras and stuff So it took about an hour to do this one room and the stairs Now we've still got the whole of the upstairs to do kitchen that doesn't include like the dusting or the polishing or anything like that that is purely just hoovering pablo's hair out of two carpets as you can see it filled four filled filled four hoovers from just these two rooms so upstairs will be another probably two three kitchen four so you can see actually how much hair they actually shed now i hope this wasn't a boring video for you guys though i hope it was actually just an insight into the true nature of having a pug because i know people say they shed and people are like, oh look at all the hairs on my shirt but actually to physically see the effort it takes to get rid of them all in your house you know i'm sure any pug owner will tell you that's the exact same thing for them if you'd like to see more of these kind of very specific topic videos about the normal running lives of a pug you know all this sort of stuff i do plan on doing a mini series so let me know if you'd be interested in that best way to bath them best way to brush them all those kind of like typical topics i'm going to try and do like a whole mini series on loads of different things stuff like this like the hoovering that you wouldn't necessarily think of yeah so just to help anyone basically who's getting a pug or even got a pug and doesn't know what they're doing so if you like this video then please do drop a like because it does help us out massively and if you're new and want to see more subscribe button as always and Chelsea just came home. Say As hi. As always, guys. Peace out.